In Africa, 11 million young people under 25 enter the labor market annually, with only a quarter lucky enough to find decent jobs. Although many jobs have been created, this is still insufficient to accommodate the need for employment. More than 70% of youths currently live on less than two US dollars a day. This condition may worsen if the high unemployment rate continues. Where will the solutions come from? The IATA Youth Agripreneurs Model was established in 2012 with the aim of attracting young people from different backgrounds to agriculture to cater for the deficit in job creation. Youths of different academic backgrounds are mobilised, taken through a change of mindset and reoriented towards agriculture. They are exposed to opportunities along the value chains on commodities of interest and given training on entrepreneurship and business proposal development. They are given coaching support and are mentored towards the establishment of profitable agribusinesses that can employ more youths. In the course of the last three years, the IITA youth model has proven that youths can succeed in the agricultural value chain. The IITA agripreneurs have really blown my mind out with uh, the incredible work that they're doing. We should showcase EA to the rest of Africa and actually show what success is like uh, f when youths engage in agribusinesses. If you want to follow the dream, the only thing you have to invest is the youth coming up. Nothing else. If you invest in them, you can never go wrong. Agripreneurship is not going to leave ITA because it has gained so much a worldwide recognition all over the world. Today, I have a bigger dream than myself. And that dream is that the future millionaires and the billionaires of Africa will come out of Africa's richest resource, which is agriculture. They will not just be millionaires for themselves or billionaires for themselves. They will lift literally hundreds of millions of people out of poverty. That can only happen with agriculture as a business. That can only happen when we have young people getting into agriculture as a business. I don't have to dream very far. I can see it right in front of me. I have no doubt that that dream will be fulfilled. IYA has created business enterprises along the value chains of cassava, seed systems, plantain, fishery, livestock and post-harvest production. The group is using the best bet technology called macro propagation and has multiplied over 50,000 high quality, disease free plantain suckers for commercial farmers. The group has opened up new markets that readily absorb these planting materials as it is currently challenged in meeting the requests received weekly. Plantain sucker multiplication is a viable business. It is very, very profitable, it is sustainable. It improves uh, livelihood and of course it can engage and impact youths, farmer, women and uh, affect their lives positively. We've been able to multiply over 75,000 planting suckers. Irrespective of this uh, number, we are still having lots of demand. It shows even if other youths have their venture into this business, they are, they, they, they are, they, they are, they are on the road. To facilitate access to planting materials and markets while using mechanisation, the group has established over 65 hectares of farmland for the production of cassava stems and roots, with a cost-benefit ratio of 1 to 1.7. The group has been able to increase their income from the sale of both the stems and roots of cassava, while also offering consultancy services to cassava farmers. Cassava market is everywhere. The here year member we started with only production. But as time goes on, we ventured into value addition. It's not compulsory you go into cassava production only. You might not even like to go into cassava production only. But stamp multiplication production is a very good business. To facilitate access to seed distribution and marketing, the group has established over 75 hectares of farmland 
for the production of high-quality foundation seeds of maize, soybean and cowpea. Using mechanization and disease-free varieties for these commodities, the group realizes 2.5 tonnes per hectare for maize and 1.5 tonnes per hectare for soybean, high-quality seeds. The group has continuous requests from both individuals and large-scale processing companies. Seed is a very good business because doing seeds you get more money than production of grain. Why? Simply because if you invest a dollar, you get your one dollar back and 60 cents additional. There are a lot of requests, like 50 tons per day of soybean was requested from, all, from us here. How do we meet this demand? The fish value chain has proven to be the most successful enterprise set up by the group. The group is involved in the three prominent sectors of fish farming, which are the hatching, growing and smoking sectors. This increases the income from each fish sold by the group by about 30%. In just six months, the group made sales of 150,000 US dollars from four earthen ponds. The avenue realized was reinvested to establish 17 more ponds. The IHA Youth Agripreneurs started a fishery activities about two years ago. Now we have 17 ponds in total. And then from experience, we have estimated that it has a cost-benefit ratio of 1 to ratio 1.5, which implies that if you invest $1, you get your $1 back and an extra 50 cents, which makes the business profitable. IYA also seizes the opportunity in the entire value chain of cassava and soybean. Great strides have been recorded in the production of Gary from cassava, both white and vitamin A fortified, soy milk drink and snay ball from soybeans, titbit from cowpea and crocant from maize. One thing we've learned over the years is that value addition is key in agricultural production. When you add value to some of these commodities, you get um, higher income compared to just the raw products that you have from your field. We get um, different calls, we get emails from so many people from within the state, outside the state and even outside the country requesting for this product, um, wanting to learn about the product, wants to tap into the distributorship of this product. Having proven this concept within the walls of the Institute, the IYA has successfully replicated the programme in other parts of the country, including Abuja and Borno State. I was privileged to serve in IITA with the Genetic Resource Centre in 2013 through 2014 batch. Together with all my colleagues, we were mobilised by the IIT Youth Agripreneurs to form a second group called Green Wealth Agripreneurs, who were to engage in value addition processes of what the first group was already initially into, that's the IYA. Presently, we're undergoing our 18-month incubation, which is very necessary because so many of us are from diverse disciplines and we don't even have full exposure to agriculture. So it's important for us to see the profitability and be exposed to various enterprises. The program has also been replicated in other African countries, including Democratic Republic of Congo, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda and Zambia. The group has also established a service provision platform for developing the capacities of other youths. Capacity building in a way has helped many of the youths. We started with the mind searching um, activities which was reorientating youths about their perception into agriculture. And with that, we've been able to develop the capacities of even an historian into becoming one of our best maize growers in the north. If our policies will be reviewed to actually favor youth, we would actually see that um, really Africa has been blessed with not just youth as a population, but with agriculture. In view of the prospects of this program, private, public and international institutions have shown great interest in the adoption in other parts of Africa to solve the problem of youth unemployment. Youth unemployment is a very serious challenge in Africa. And everyone will agree with me that it's time to begin to engage the youth in productive avenues of agriculture. And we believe that what's made us to see agriculture as a profession is what we can transfer to other youths in Africa, thereby helping them to become successful young men and women. IYA is a testament to the fact that with adequate training and appropriate institutional support, 
youths without prior exposure to agriculture can be productively engaged in it as a business. The future of the continent is agriculture becoming a business. And if you look around the world, there is no continent, no country, US, Europe, China, that is developed without agriculture. That's where you start. That's where you start. If you don't get that right, you'll never get it right.